So we spent a lot of time going over um, introducing energy, work, um, <laughs> try to say it in the right order, energy, work, momentum, and impulse. And um, we went through, we spent a fair amount of time talking about how energy and momentum are conserved. So now what we are going to do is we are going to use that, those facts that energy is a conserved quantity and that momentum is also conserved under various situations to, um, to, uh, to work out some problems. One of the problems that we can work out at the beginning of today is this Newton's cradle. I asked this question earlier. So you know, when I have one ball swinging uh, from the side, why is it only one ball that comes out? Or when I have two balls swinging to the side, why does it ever you know, come out with the two balls? And the question I asked uh, earlier was, you know, why couldn't it, with the two balls coming in, why couldn't it be one ball coming out both of those energies? And it turns out it's the conservation of momentum that puts in the final constraint here. So we'll look at that in a bit, but let me write down a few things as a reminder of what we have covered so far. Um, so I won't write down all the energy formulas. I'm hoping you are beginning to memorize it. But what I want to write down is for conservation of energy and momentum, there are certain conditions that have to be met. And we went through this for, um, we went through this for energy in detail last time, so let me just write it down. So for energy to be conserved, um, so energy, so conservation of energy happens when non-conservative forces conservative forces to zero net work. And I want to emphasize once again oops, um, that um, this is, is the same, I tried really hard to make this statement concise. So every word here matters. So it matters that it's the network, um, it matters that it's the non-conservative forces that you are worried about. And it's not just, to, and it matters that you can have non-conservative forces as long as they are not doing network. So it's when you have non-conservative forces doing non-zero network that energy, me mechanical energy may not be conserved. With the momentum, I guess, <clears throat> this is what we said last time, so I'll write that down for now, but um, I want to refine it a little bit later. So conservation of momentum happens when, um, so what was the type of force that we worried about in, when it came down to conservation of momentum? External forces. So conservation of momentum happens when external forces, or I guess, wait, I should start up with. So net external forces is equal to zero. And we want, I want to refine this a little bit because there will be situations where you clearly have external force, but we will come up with some excuse to say, um, we can actually consider momentum to be conserved. So, so I will refine, so let me put a little asterisk here as a reminder that I'm going to be uh, refining this in a little bit. So, so these are the uh, conservation conditions. Oops. Conservation of, so these are the conservation conditions. And when, so this will come up, this will be more important probably uh, on next week, Tuesday, when we are doing general problem solving. So the, one of the first things you have to do is figure out is energy conserved, is you know, energy conserved or not, and is momentum conserved or not. 